Hello and welcome to this video on percentage change. Now one thing to note in this video is this is going to focus solely on paper one non-calculator methods. There will be another video that focuses on how you use the calculator but for this one it's all going to be non-calculator. Okay so to start this one off let's have a look at some of the standard questions and also the extension of that how they might look if they're added to a context in other words everyone's favorite wordy questions. So your standard percentage calculation questions, and we're only going to look at two of these in this video, is working out percentage of amount, so what is 40% of 200, and then increasing and decreasing by a given percentage. Now these can also be given in a wordy context, and there's some examples of what they might look like there. This particular video, we're only going to focus on the increase and the decrease we should already be able to calculate percentage of amount if not scroll back and find the video on percentage of amount before you watch this one right let's get started then so in this example Charlie usually gets paid 200 pounds a day but gets a 40 percent pay rise how much does she now earn per day and what I've done in purple underneath is I've just written out what this question is just as a standard maths question there without the context and without the words. So how do we identify that this is an increase question first of all? Well we need to look for certain keywords in here where it says pay rise that tells me that something has increased. So the way that we're going to do this one is because we're doing it non-calculator we need some certain key percentages. Now the ones I'm going to go with are 50%, 25%, 10%, 5% and 1%. Now we don't necessarily need all of these to work out a 40% pay rise but having these five of available to me means that the calculation is very easy and actually any percentage I can work out using these. So to find 50% all I'm going to do is take my original amount and divide it by 2. So 50% is £100. To find 25% I'm going to take my 50% and half that. So 25% is £50. 10% I'm going to take my original amount 200 and divide it by 10. So 10% is 20 quid. And 5%, I'm going to take my 10% value and halve it. So 5% is £10. And for 1%, I'm going to go back to the 10% value, 20, and divide it by 10, meaning that 1% is just £2. Now, from these five key percentages, I can make 40%. So 40% is going to be made up of four lots of 10%. So four lots of 10% I can see is £80. Once I know this, all I need to do now, because this is an increase question, and this is a really common mistake, is I need to add it on to my original amount. So I'm going to do £200, what Charlie started off with, plus her 40% raise, which is £80. So her new wage is £280. Not too bad. In this example, Raj wants to buy a TV. TV usually costs him £200, but has actually been reduced in a sale by 40%. We need to know how much the TV is going to cost now. So same as before, I've written in purple what this looks like just as a standard maths question without the context to it. But we're going to need to work out our key percentages. Now the key percentages, because I've kept it at £200, are going to be the same as before. So I'm just going to add in what we had on the previous slide. Again, my methods for getting to all of these ones, exactly the same. Um, but there we are. There are my five key percentages that I'm going to be using throughout this question. Now, again, because I've kept 40% the same, that means that 40% I'm going to want four lots of the 10%. So 40% is 80 pounds and the only real difference with this question is that it's a decrease now the key word I'm looking for there is the word reduced that tells me it's a decrease so I need to do 200 pounds minus the 80 pounds which is 120 and that's the new cost of the television here are four for you to have a practice at be careful to make sure that you're doing your five key percentages and then increase or decrease, add or subtract as necessary. Pause the video here, hit play when you're ready to see what the answers look like. OK, so in this one then, first of all, and I've done my key percentages just in the background, 15% of £300 is £45. And then because this says increase, I'm going to need to add it on. So in total, this one is £345. 
Now your quantities don't have to just be pounds. So here we've got 500 kilograms and I'm going to need to increase it by 35%. So again, I'm going to do my five key percentages in the background and 35% is 175 kilograms. And because this is an increase, I'm going to need to add it on. So that's going to give me a total of 675 kilograms. On to the next one. This time I've got $40, which I need to decrease by 30%. So again, from my five key percentages, I'm going to work out that 30% here is $12. And I can see that this one is a decrease. So what I'm going to do is 40 minus 12. And the correct answer to this one is $28. For the final one, I'm actually going to write out what the five key percentages are for this one. So I'm not going to bother with 50% and 25% because I can see I'm not going to need them. But I am going to write out what 10% is. So 10% here is 12 centimeters. And I'm also going to write out what 1% is. And that's 1.2 centimeters. So I can see in order to make up 12%, I'm going to need one of those. And I'm going to need two of those. That's going to give me in total. 12% and 12% then of this is going to be 14.4 centimeters. Now again the question is asked for a decrease so I just need to subtract that giving me my final answer here of 105.6 centimeters. Okay well done if you got all four of those correct. Oh no, I had a feeling this guy might show up again. Uh, very talkative today. So on Monday, he scared 800 students. And then he tells us what happens on Tuesday, on Wednesday, on Thursday, and on Friday. And overall, we need to work out how many students the beast has scared this week with his percentage questions. Pause the video here. Have a go at this one yourselves, if you dare. Hit play when you're ready to see what the answer looks like. Okay, so on Monday, he scared 800 students. So the way I'm going to do this one, first of all, is I'm going to write down my key percentages of 800 because they all go back to that number. So I can see 50% of 800 is 400, 25% is 200, 10% is 80, 5% is 40, and 1% is 8. Using these key percentages I should be able to work out the answer to the beast question. So it says here 12% more so that's an increase and 12% I'm going to need 10 plus 2 of the ones so that's going to be a total of 96 students. Now if he scared 12% more then that means on Tuesday he must have scared 896. Remember because it says more I've increased this one so I've added it on to 800. On Wednesday, he scared 64% less than Monday. So I'm going to need to work out what 64% is. To do this, I'm going to want the 50%, the 10%, and four of the 1%. And I can see that 64% is 512. Now, because it says less than, this means I'm going to need to do 800 minus 512, which is 288 students. On Thursday, he scared 35% more. So to work out the 35%, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the 25 and the 10 and add them together. And I can see that that is 280 students. Now it says that it's more than Monday, so that's an increase. I'm going to need to add it on to the 800, meaning that on Thursday, he scared a total of 1,080 students. Now looking for some, this guy doesn't work on Friday, so I don't need to worry about that part of my calculation. To work out how many students he scared this week, I'm just going to need to do 800 Monday plus 896 Tuesday plus 288 on Wednesday plus 1080 on Thursday. And in total, he must have scared 3064 students. Scary stuff. Well done if you got that question correct. That was quite difficult to do with lots of things going on at once and quite a few calculations. So just to recap on this one, remember using non-calculator methods, you need those five key values. Some of them, when you get to the number, you may decide you don't need. So if you're working out 12%, you might decide it's not worth bothering working out 50%. But sometimes it might be useful just to get yourself into a habit 50, 25, 10, 5, 1 every single time. Always be looking for words within 
in your text to indicate whether it's something is increased or decreased. And then, as I said earlier, key exam mistake, people forget once they've worked out what 50% is or 25%, they forget to do the add or subtract. And this is all about changing. So if you're leaving it just as that one and not actually increasing or decreasing, you are going to drop a mark. Okay, that's about it from me, guys. Hopefully you found this one useful. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you next time.